Oh, look at that awesome, awesome sunrise. Mm. Looking through the camera is great, but looking at it in real time, oh, geez, it's so bright, but so beautiful at the same time. So beautiful. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, so yesterday, we were going to go to the, a doctor's visit um, that she can pretty much like walk in any time. Um, but it was a change of plans because we decided, huh. come on dogs, we're going this way. We decided because um, I didn't realize all the scraping noises was caused because of um, some of the bumper being on the tire. So what we did is uh, we, we went to um, a, well we tried to do it ourselves, but, um, and then try and go to a friend's house at the same time. But we decided to um, go nearby a car repair shop. Be careful, sweetie. And um, they cut like pretty much all that. And then uh, they found that what's also dragging was part of the bumper underneath. And um, so they cut that too. So now I need to be a little bit extra careful because I'm thinking the next time I do, on accident of course, Uh, but anyway, next time I hit something on accident, um, it might be a fatal one, definitely on that side, until I get it fixed. So, um, so that's what we did yesterday. Uh, this, today, I don't know what we're going to probably do to, today. Come on, sweetie. Um, I mean, I can probably practice because it's this early, practice driving to the Northeast campus, but I'm going to wait till Thursday on that one um just because I don't want to be late for work um so I'm thinking you know practice on the day that I'm off um see how the traffic is and stuff uh, uh, I guess we have to see So yeah, we'll just have to see about that one. Um, come on, baby. There's a person with a long mower coming. I don't know if she's coming this way or not. Um, so Doxy's like keeping an eye out, <laughs> doing what she's doing. Like we're just walking on this nice morning. But she's also keeping an eye for uh, the person over there. And I do believe Vantex don't open this early in the morning. Um. Oh, all the 18 wheelers are gone. Well, kind of. I mean, we got that one over there. But it used to be 18 wheeler city. We have like one in the back that was holding about a couple of cars or so. And then plus that one down there. My mom called it an 18 wheeler city because of how many 18 wheelers there are. It's like, no. And then I told her what it was what, basically. The one that carries um, some of the vehicles on his uh, trailer. And the other one over here are pretty much the locals. Uh, well, they're probably locals. I don't know. I mean, they do just... Because there's enough room for, uh, like, there, I think it's a sleeping cab is what, it, what it's called when you have, like, extra room in the back of an 18-wheeler truck. Um, 
but I'm thinking because of how long they've been gone. If they're locals, they'll have a friend or a family member come pick them up, and or they'll just walk to uh, wherever they're living. And um, I guess get fresh supplies of what we're doing. Stay stay a while, maybe a couple weeks or so, or days, days to weeks, and then be on their merry way. So. And then we have like um, this other 18 wheeler that you'll see in some of my vlogs. Um, that has, I think it has like a Q and a D on it for its uh, logo. And uh, so my mom thought he was going to stay overnight. It's like, nope. No, he parks there. He parks there for uh, pretty much his lunch break. He'll park there for a little bit, eat, maybe take a little nap, and then when he's set and ready and refreshed, I guess you can say, then, then, then he leaves. Uh, gotta save the cyclist. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah. So today I have no idea what we're going to be doing today, um, no idea whatsoever, um, but I am happy about, um, I'm a little bit tired of how, how well I'm doing on my schedule, um, so there's always that. I mean, yesterday, or no, this, I guess it was this last night, um, last night till this morning, um, I was covering somebody for work a little bit, because they had to get back to work at 10, 10 in the morning today, so, but they were closing. Luckily, uh, uh luckily on Mondays, I'm only closing, like, we close at 10.30 at work so um I decided it was fine because you know this is just my practice week and uh, you know. so I decided to close um uh, because my dogs are really cross really that's in my shoe uh but uh yeah I didn't really mind so I mean it's 10 30 spread in the days that we leave at 11, so, um, so I told them, yeah, you know, didn't really have to call anybody saying, you know, change the plans, not leave until 10.30ish, um, but yeah, that was great, it was really, really great, um, but I, I, I made it, you know, um, Woke up at like 6 08 ish. So I got like a few more hours, or not hours, but a few minutes of sleep besides waking up at 6. So. And I'm still on time. So. So. It's been really awesome, I guess. Um, so, I know lots of you guys are already starting school, or about to, so I hope for the people that watches my channels, I hope you have a wonderful school year. If you're not at school yet, um, if your school doesn't start like next week or so, then I hope you have a wonderful rest of your summer break. And um, I'll see you guys next time.